So Mike Lynch, first of all, a quick demo. What is Tagger? What Tagger is, is a technology which allows things to be recognised. It sits in the cloud and things like this phone here running a little app can use that cloud brain to actually recognise things. So if I put it up to this picture here, uh, what I see then is the picture comes to life. Uh -huh. Because what's happened is that the video from this has gone to the cloud, being recognised by, if you like, simple shorthand, the brain in the cloud. And then we've associated the digital thing with that real world object. So it's a way of going around and just adding digital things, games, 3D, video, to um, any real world object. And uh, what's different between that and previous augmented reality apps, uh, one could talk about, or Rasmo? Well, the, the previous sort of generation of apps were the, the sort of first ones that people did. What they can do is they can recognize something, but they don't have this ability to make it truly social because the nice thing about these new technologies, because the recognition is done in the cloud, is if I just hold up a device to something and with one key press, I can associate any digital asset with it. And then that goes up to the cloud. It's available for everyone all over the world immediately, instantaneously. So what you've got is rather than something which was mainly about replaying stuff, it's now the ability to put stuff in and get stuff out and do it over the whole world. I think the other big difference is that it's device neutral. So, you know, even if you just have a, an IP camera now with no intelligence in it, um, that can go up and recognition can be done and do things. So it means that the same brain is available for all these different devices and it learns from everything that's put into it. And I gather it could be used with Google Glass as well? Yeah, we're very interested in, in the whole wearables area because obviously, you know, it's great when you're doing things that uh, you want to sort of very actively do with a phone where you hold it up and it comes to life. But when you get into the wearables area, what you've got is technology which is there. You don't even realize it's there once you start wearing those things. It can recognize stuff around you and bring you information. Um, you know, just so you hold up something, what is this? You know, can I buy it? How much would it be? I find it hard to believe that in 10 years' time, we're going to be walking around, pulling out some device, trying to type on some keyboard with, you know, good old damn you auto correct kicking in every so often. Um, we're going to have to have a model where the physical world and the virtual world are seamlessly integrated. And the whole way in which we deal with information can change. So we think this is a very big area. And finally, uh, you're not going to get um, a knock on the door from HP saying, hey, uh, we bought that, that technology from you. Um, you owe us. Well, the technology is being done, you know, the, the team that did that original technology left HP. They sat down and they said, right, well, we've learned a lot about the field. What we're going to do is start again from scratch. This works in a very different way. I hope I don't get a phone call like that from HP because, you know, HP is a company that needs to innovate, not call its lawyers all the time.